There have been a lot of positive headlines concerning the pandemic of late. Cases are down, vaccinations are up, and young children are now being immunized. But as we head into the coming weeks and more Americans are traveling for the holidays and gathering indoors, doctors warn we should expect to see a surge in cases. Joining me now live in Denver is Newsy National Correspondent Clayton Sandell for us. Hi there, Clayton. Well, the good news to be had here, doctors do not expect to see this surge hit levels we've seen before in this pandemic. Hey, good evening, Natalie. And that's right. It's not expected to be as bad this winter because a lot more people will be vaccinated this time around, including, as you mentioned, a growing number of kids. But medical experts warn us we still have to be on guard as new cases rise and hospitals fill up. One thing medical experts warn will not take a holiday this winter is COVID. The numbers have continued to increase, and if not, if anything, have gotten slightly worse. Right now, an average of 76,000 people are still being infected daily with new cases. Enough sick people to fill Denver's NFL stadium every single day. And more than 1,200 people a day are dying. Doctors, nurses, and hospitals are straining to keep up. Right now, our hospitals are stretched to a point that we haven't been stretched through the entire pandemic. We are above 90% capacity. Health experts say the winter surge can be blamed on a triple whammy. Colder weather means more people are gathering indoors. Vaccine effectiveness is wearing off over time. And compared to last year, far fewer people are wearing masks. That's it. There is hope the winter surge won't be as bad as last year now that kids age 5 to 11 can be vaccinated. According to the White House, nearly a million of them so far. 700,000 additional appointments are already on the calendar at local pharmacies. In some places like Indiana, demand for children's vaccines is high. We are out a vaccine and unsure when we will get our next shipment. But nationwide, as people begin to travel and gather for the holidays, only 60% of the population is vaccinated. A number experts say must go up to drive the number of cases down. Well, we hope to get it as it's such a low level that even though it isn't completely eliminated, it doesn't have a major impact on public health or on the way we run our lives. Now, U.S. officials are also paying close attention to what's happening in Europe. That has become a COVID hotspot. And the World Health Organization is warning countries like the U.S. not to relax COVID restrictions. They say keep those masks, keep social distancing. That is the only way to flatten these curves. They say the best strategy is to react to is to not react to these COVID surges, but try to prevent them. Natalie. Right, and hopefully more people will be getting boosters as well. Clayton Sandell for us in Denver. Clayton, thanks so much.